Hey everyone, we're looking now at our own home in the universe, our own Milky Way galaxy. Yeah, if you look at night uh, to, at the sky and it's dark enough and you're lucky enough, you can get a chance to see the Milky Way's arm stretched out overhead. So it looks like this fuzzy band that goes through the night sky. The ancients thought it was just a river of milk, flowing milk, and that's where we get our name. The Lactose Way. So this is an artist representation of what we think our Milky Way galaxy looks like. It looks spiral in its shape, and it looks like we're a barred spiral because of that elongated stretch out the middle. How do we know that this is what we look like? Well, basically it's from observation and mathematics. You can't go outside of the galaxy and look in. It's way too big. We'd have to travel too far. So we just have to do this from the inside out. We see a lot of stars concentrated in that fuzzy band through the night sky, so we don't see things above or below us. So we're probably not elliptical. We're probably a flat disk. And the shape of it, like you said, comes from mathematics. One of the ways we know where we are is based on these guys. This is known as a globular cluster. It's another one of those Messier objects out there, those fuzzy patches in the night sky. These are clusters of about 100 million stars. Now we can use these clusters to find distances, especially since these are located more towards the center. We can use them to locate the actual center of the galaxy. And this is what we see when we plot all those globular clusters. So the red dot is the sun and all the orange dots are the globular clusters. If the globular clusters are hanging out around the center of our galaxy, we see most of them skewed off to the left or right. We see them not surrounding us, which tells us that we're not in the center of our own galaxy. So now we know our location in the galaxy. The next thing is we want to talk about the different parts of the galaxy. Yeah, so you can look here and you can see that the galaxies especially our type of galaxy, has a definite shape to it. Uh, it has a bulge in the center called the central bulge. There's a lot of stars there, and they're mostly the oldest stars. Around the galaxies, we call that spherical region the halo, where all those globular clusters hang out. What we view as the Milky Way is part of the spiral arms. It's part of the disk of the galaxy. Uh, a lot of gas and dust is needed to make this, and most of the younger stars are in this section. And again, if you want to pinpoint our location, you are right there. So some of the statistics about where our sun actually is in the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxy is huge. It's 100,000 light years across. The distance to the center is about 28,000 light years. The sun is moving very, very quickly as it orbits the galaxy. So it's moving around that central bulge. And based on our speed, we know that it takes around 250 million years for us to make one orbit long time. Which means in the sun's lifetime it's already made about 20 orbits it's amazing. around the galaxy. The galaxy gets its shape uh, basically by gravity. So there are clouds of gas, globular clusters, there are all these things that make up the galaxy and gravity is sort of creating a situation where it forms the arms. You've got the spherical cloud of gas and dust collapsing first stars are being born those are the ones in the globular clusters the cloud collapses into the flat disk the flat disk rotates the nuclear bulge has some of the older stars in a high concentration of the stars in the middle and then the spiral arms spin out giving us the shape that we have but why do we have definite defined arms that's one thing astronomers are trying to wonder one of the ideas is something called a spiral density wave where the gravitational fields of these uh, stars, the arms, all of this material is sort of uh, separating. It's kind of like traffic separating at traffic lights. Uh, the gravity causes a gap between sections of the disk and it makes the arms. So you got slower moving material like this tractor right here and you can get stars and gas to clump up behind it. So when we have those different regions like in a traffic jam that's why we're getting the densely packed spiral arms, the spiral density wave. Some up here, you can see the halo is around the galaxy. That's where the globular clusters hang out. Then you've got the disk of the galaxy where our sun is located and a lot of the gas and dust to make younger stars. In the center, we've got the bulge of the galaxy where we said a lot of older stars are, but then there's that word nucleus. What's in the nucleus or the center of our galaxy? Well, another question might be what's holding this all together? 
happening because I think what's in the nucleus is something that's doing that. So when astronomers peer into the center of the galaxy, which is centered around the constellation Sagittarius, they focused on a bunch of stars kind of orbiting something. Yeah, it almost looks like water flowing down a drain. They're going around and around in circles pretty fast for stellar motion. So uh, there must be something there that's causing them to spin. So doing some calculations and mathematics to figure out what the mass of that central body must be, the mass of the central body ended up being around 4 million times the mass of the sun. Yeah, and that's got to be something that's really gravitationally charged or a black hole. So something really, really heavy that doesn't uh, has an ex immense amount of gravity we call a black hole and a supermassive black hole like the one we have at our center is actually able to hold on to everything in our galaxy. So if you're massive enough and you have enough gravity you can actually hold on to about a hundred billion stars and keep them all to yourself. Which is what uh, holds the galaxies together. There we go. So we think in every single galaxy we see in the center is one of these supermassive black holes. So now we know the structure of our galaxy, we know how our galaxy was kind of put together, and we know the different locations. So know the structure, know the shapes, know the locations, and what's important about each. And we'll talk next time. Next time.